give us a few quarterbacks who you think are going to make a big leap this year. Well, Brett Hundley at UCLA is one. I remember I was there in the spring, and Noel Mazzoni, the offensive coordinator, was talking about how excited he was to come back to work because he got another year with Brett. Mm. Uh, and Hundley's been a pretty good starting quarterback for two years, but the feeling there is that he's going to take a big step this year, that he's going to, to raise their, their offense to a different level. And if you look at what they have coming back on defense, that could be a very good team. If Hundley is as good as they think he's going to be, there's a chance that team wins the Pac-12. Who else is catching your eye? Connor Cook at Michigan State. He got better every game last year, and he wasn't the starter going into the season. Now he's had a full off season as a starter. Uh, the, there's no Rose Bowl hangover with him. I remember talking to him in April. He, he really seemed focused. He had gone out to San Diego for his spring break to work with George Whitfield, the quarterback's coach. Uh, he really seems like he's locked in. They're going to be a lot better on offense. They're going to need to be because the defense lost a bunch. They're going to have to help the younger defenders come along by scoring some points in the same way that the defense helped them come along by not allowing any last year. <laughs> All right, give us one more. We're getting set here for college football. Jacob Coker at Alabama. Okay. Most interesting situation, I think, in America because, first of all, he hasn't won the starting job. He hasn't even taken a practice snap for the Crimson Tide yet. He was the backup at Florida State last year. Jimbo Fisher knows people think he's lying when he says that it was really close between Jameis Winston and Jacob Coker. But it was. Coker was injured through a lot of the spring, mm -hmm. so he didn't necessarily have the best footing in that competition. But he impressed those coaches. You haven't seen much from him because he was playing behind their second team line when he come in mop-up duty last year. We don't know exactly what he can do. But if you almost beat out the guy who won the Heisman Trophy, you're probably pretty good. And now you're taking over an offense that has T.J. Yeldon, that has Derrick Henry, that has Amari Cooper. We don't know about that line yet, but Alabama's been pretty good in that position the last few years. So that's a pretty good situation for a guy, assuming he wins the starting job. But if he does, we could be talking about another Nick Marshall-type situation yeah. where the, the, the guy comes in and becomes a star right off the bat. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed this clip from our daily live show, SI Now. You can find a link to the complete episode in the description box below. And while you're there, make sure you subscribe to Sports Illustrated YouTube channel. It's not just SI Now, it's girls in bikinis because we got your back. Remember, you can watch SI Now Monday through Friday live at 1 p.m. Eastern only on SI.com. We hope to see you there with the girls in bikinis.